Ja. So, you don't want to work anymore, huh? Let's take care of okay, it. First. this is off and go turn off the brake. Okay, this is with the cover removed. First step after power has been taken off and the circuit breaker, remove the connector. Now we're going to remove the cover. Squeeze. Slowly bring this down. It's still attached. Don't, don't be too rough on it. You can unhook it if you'd like. But you still need that cover, don't put it too far away. Now under here, move these wires out so you can get a good view of the two screws you got to remove. One is the ground strap. Okay. Just, I prefer to take it off just in case. Just take off the screw. If the screw is still attached, just move it out the way. Now there is the, the the motor strap. It's held in by a Phillips at one end. Bring it down. Okay, the screws out. Don't, don't drop the screw in the toilet. Okay. And now the motor is basically free to move. Okay. I find it easier to remove the motor from this bracket. Just a quick twist of the nuts. And do them by hand. Again, try not to drop them. But anyway, the new motor closed two new nuts, so it's not that big of a deal if you lose these. Okay, I remember the motor's now loose and free, so I can take it out of its uh, mounting bracket. Now this becomes easier to get out, I think, but it, it'll, it'll come out. Bend the power wires out of the way. And now the bracket can slide out. You see how it's trapped in there with that corner. And now the old motor can come out. And yes, it's going to be very, very dusty. Very dusty. Oof. Okay. This is that bracket that holds the fan in place. You can see here the little slots that hold the cover. This is the top side, that's the bottom side. There's the hook that it hooks into to hold the motor in. And the other end that has the hole for the ground and for the uh, bracket attachment screw. Okay. And the new kit includes a four bladed fan, but of course it's the wrong handing and it's a little bit smaller. So we're gonna to have to reuse the old fan.
and uh, it is dirty but we can clean it up that's no big deal and of course we're gonna have to retouch or actually uh, splice the cut and cut and splice the, the original connector onto the new fan wires okay we'll take care of that stuff. let's heat up the uh, original fan with the uh, hot water to expand it so we can break it break it free from its shaft so after about a minute or so in hot water gonna be quick about this but now that plastic should have expanded already just grip it with a pair of, grab the shaft with a pair of pliers and just kind of gently work it out it'll come right out see yeah if you don't do this i guarantee you you might break the fan blade but uh, that works for real good uh, and don't worry about this this is junk anyway so you can get it wet it'll be in the garbage or recycle bin pretty soon now of course the original fan is too large too large so we'll take care of that in a second okay but first we got to clean this Glass cleaner. Start to work. Let it sit there for a second or two. Again, hot water. If you have to, just kind of scrub it by hand. But uh, that should take care of it. It should fall right off. And it does. Careful with the hot water. In fact, I'm going to use paper. shabby for an old fan all right now. okay like I pointed out before the fan blade the original fan blade has just got too large of an opening and it just does not stay so we're just going to pick up the slack with just a couple of turns of ordinary tape and we're going to lock it in with super glue so I just gave this a couple of turns okay and we'll check the fit I don't think it matters too much which side of the blade goes on but that's a real snug that's nice that worked real well. I give it about uh, two inches of tape. Okay. So from here, we'll just go around both ends with just a bead of super glue. This is a gel type, so it'll be nice. Come on, go around. A generous amount of super glue. I don't want to drop any. As I let that set, I'll take care of the wiring next. Okay, now we have to transfer the old connector from the old motor to the new motor. So I'll just cut this off. Okay, that can go away. You don't need that anymore. And now we have to prep the ends of these wires. 
to accept the butt connectors that's included with your U motor. These are handy, I like these pliers. Okay, that has not enough insulation cut up, so I'll prep that one also. This is the new motor's pliers, let me put that on my side. more wire exposed. Okay. Hmm. So there were no butt connectors included, but there were these wire nets in the package with the new motor. That'll work just the same. It's not the best, but it is acceptable. This is AC, so it's not polarized. Give it a good twist until it stops turning, and then just a much more. Stops turning and then nudge more. There. Okay, so now the new motor is prepared with the correct terminal block or terminal. Okay, terminal connector. Alright, let's go back up to the top and put this in. Before you put the new motor in, make sure you remove, carefully remove these nuts. Put them aside, don't lose them. And we're going to sneak up, we're going we're gonna to slide this fan motor up into the holder or the, uh, the duct tube and follow it with the mounting bracket. It's going to be uh, fun. Let's see how let's see how it goes. That's in. Just exactly what you wanted to have, right? All right. Remember the fan is loose up there. We're just trying to get the bracket in place to hold the fan in. You can maneuver this fan into its position. There. Okay, first 
one down. Second nut, get it going in. Uh -huh. okay, just nudge those. Snug them up nice and tight. off the cover before it comes back up there. Alright, push this connector through. Side in. Snap the other side in. You're ready to go back up. Alright. Don't forget the ground strap. Maneuver the screw back into place. That's in. Thank you. So I don't struggle with this screw, this ground screw. I normally I like to take this uh, ground wire and just kind of maneuver it over the hole by itself, so that I don't have to fight with it. Come on, stop! Stop! Just bend it around so I can get it near the hole. Easier to screw in. This is your ground, so make sure it's nice and snug. Okay. And bend the loose wire out of the way. Okay, so now this goes back. Make sure you don't pinch any of the power wires. That would be no bueno. Okay. So, you got to hook in the two tabs first, squeeze, and then hook in that single large rotator tab. It's a tough one, but it's doable there. Okay. Now, put this bad boy back in. I'm going to those that away. Can't see in this. Okay, that's it. And now uh, let's turn power on and test it. Be right back. Okay, and now to finish off, we're going to clean the cover. Again, hot water with glass cleaner. Let it soak. Just 
time we use the scrub brush, just go around it gently. Be very careful with this because it's quite expensive to replace. That's good enough. And here you can see, here you can see just exactly how this retainer system works on these covers. There is a hole where this retainer goes through, and of course the way they lock themselves in place is that you squeeze these two hooked ends, slide it through the slot. You can see it there. You, you just basically slide these two compressed hooked ends through the slot. When you let it go, it basically automatically just basically snugs up the cover up to the to the fan housing. Get one on each side. Pretty nifty idea. Okay. Shake it around and back up to the top. Up the ladder we go. Okay. Power's back on. Let's see if we got fan. We have fan. Okay. You can hear it, but let's see it. There it goes. It's wanting to suck it up. There it goes. There it goes. It's got really good suction from the cow. I can feel the air moving through. Oh, that's really, really fast. It's a good fan. Sorry about that noise. Cool. I just turned it off. Okay. We're ready for the cover. And since you already saw how this cover comes out so easily, you can remove it when you have time and the energy. <laughs> And just paint it white to match your trim. But uh, after a good cleaning, they, they look fairly decent. And these vent blind covers, like I said, they're, they're fairly expensive for what they are. And uh, you don't want to break these unnecessarily, so just be gentle. And again, just squeeze those retainer clips. And slide them through the slot. They hold themselves in place. And just gently push up and there you are all set and again nothing like a good working vent excellent it's perfect how's that that's nice That's just great. Got my vent working again. Excellent. I hope that helps, folks. <laughs>